Hello YouTube, it's Joy here from Team Burning Infinity, and I'm going to do a video that someone had requested in the comments in one of my previous Buddy Fight videos, and that person had requested a deck building video. Now this is kind of tricky since the game's kind of new. It's pretty new, there's not too much of a meta established, I'm hearing things about a triangle of like Danger World being Dragon World, and or Danger World being Magic World, Magic World being... Uh, Dragon World, Dragon World being Danger World, and whatnot, and if you try going in reverse, it's really hard. Um, I don't know if I agree with that fully. I'm not a genius on the game, I'm not a pro at it. I still have a lot of research to do and stuff, but I don't necessarily agree with that. And the person who had requested for this video is Card Games TV one so thank you for commenting. And something you thought that should happen next. We appreciate that. That you guys are starting to request and doing all these things, like giving suggestions, and I really do appreciate it. And someone else had Eevee Gamer Cuddles LP had re had suggested that I played three spike shoulder dragons instead of Latal's shield dragons. And I ended up looking at the cards like this is a really good card. It's pretty solid for a turn one play. It's got three crit. And it's a size one monster. And if I go through my commons of Buddy Fight, I could find a card that rem that it reminded me of. And that card would be Armor Knight Gargoyle. Now, the only difference between that card and Gargoyle is Gargoyle's Gargoyle is the Danger World version. It's an Armor Knight, and it has 1k instead of 3k attack. Almost everything everything else about it is the same, so that's nice. And it seems we got a better version, but that could be abused more. And I had replied that I didn't feel the card was necessary in my deck because I'm not playing an aggressive version of Dragon World. And I think that's that card's good in an aggressive build. And if you guys watch the anime, the main character actually performed an OTK on his opponent, which I, I didn't even think there was one in Buddy Fight. So the fact that OTKs are viable really amazes me. I can't say it's a consistent OTK, but I can most certainly say it's an OTK. And I see why certain cards are really good and certain ones are not. But, um... I'm going to get into the deck building part now. Sorry for all the rambling. Um, the main thing I'm going to just jump into is you got to find out what deck you're playing. Dragon World. Let me get one other thing. Danger World. Or Magic World. Regardless of what you're playing, you got to know what you're going to play and how you're going to play it. Your whole deck is based around the kind of world you're playing and then the playstyle you're going to do of that world. So, like, my Dragon World isn't an aggro build. Some may think it is, but it's not. Um, Rising Flare, one of the only buddies that you could use. Other possible buddies, if you actually get lucky enough to have one, is Jackknife Dragon. Uh, Drum Bunker Dragon's not a bad card. And I would say Pile Bunker Dragon. Those are the four cards I would use as bodies. Um, Rising Flare is most definitely the easiest to get. Only because you get four copies of it in the trial deck. So, very good. And obviously the flag. So that stuff's covered. Um, for size one monsters. If you're going to play an aggressive build of the deck, you're going to want to get monsters that have a lot of crits and attack. And then you're going to have a lot of counter spells to back it up. For me, I'm playing more of a balanced version. Like, I have a nice turn one defensive card. I have a turn one often offensive card. I'll organize all the defensive and offensive cards for size ones. Okay, so... Here's our copies of offensive cards. Here's our copies of defensive cards. And then we have four copies of a card that's balanced in both attack and defense. Has equal stats. 
of 3,000 each and two critical. Um, depending on the variant, I like Latal Shield because you could use it for a quick turn one attack, uh, just to get over a small uh, card with small defense like Thousand Rapier, uh, Bear Trap, or even a size two if there's one that even has 2,000 defense, which I'm sure there is. Um, I also noticed that this card can be really problematic. I might bump it up to three if I can actually bother to get a third one without having to buy a trial deck because I really don't want to buy another one. Um, Latal Shield's not a bad card. It's a nice 4,000 shield, which isn't the worst. You need to play at least a creature with two crit on most occasions. And you would have to utilize it and kill this if you have not your center. Um, usually your center card's going to be a card that has good defense or you're playing in a strategic manner. Um, I guess I'll get into gameplay strategies in the next video. That's a completely different topic. But as I was saying, as I'm playing a balanced version, I have a, a balance between defense, offense, and then in between. I could put these here. I could say Screw it. I'll have an even amount if I do this. I'll have eight copies here and eight copies here. That's 16 size ones, and I can use it for offensive or defense pre defensive purposes. If I'm saying, oh, maybe I'll use one systemic dagger dragon per an offensive play per game, I now have eight defensive cards and eight offensive cards. If I say, oh, I feel like playing a little aggressive today, I'll put all four Systemic Dagger Dragons into the offensive position, and I'll use them more aggroly. Now I have a total of 11 offensive cards and 5 defensive cards. If I say, ooh, I'm going to play really defensive today, I'm going to have a total of 9 defensive cards and 7 offensive cards. So depending on the way your deck is built, you can play your cards differently, and this will result in different wins, losses, and gameplay. And I feel that's a crucial part of your deck building. You, you want to know how you're going to play your deck. If you're going to play it in a matter that you could switch between offensive and defensive, mid-game, late-game, beginning, or you're going to play flat out one way from the beginning of the game, you want to build your deck that way. So that's really important. Um, this also applies to size 2 monsters. Let's see if my size 2 monsters are actually balanced like my size 1s are. Um... So, let's see, we've got three extreme, we've got four copies of Extreme Sword Dragon, very offensive. Four copies of Jamadar Dragon, both offensive and defensive. Maybe not the greatest defensive prowess, but you can use it on a defensive skill by getting rid of other creatures. Extreme Sword, you're really just going to aim to kill the opponent's life with it. And Rising Flare, I would almost say is a defensive card, but more of an in-between, because... You really use him to get rid of a size 2 monster and maybe kill one or two monsters and shield yourself. That is what I usually use Rising Flare for. As good as a card as he is, I would not say he's great for the aggro. These are much better. And technically, you could play five copies of your buddy. One's going to be your buddy, and then four copies will be in the deck. It is legal, but you are mandatory to use that card as your buddy then, and you can't end up having five cards in the main deck. Or at least that's what I've heard, and that's what I've seen. So, some people do that, some people don't. Um, if you're going to do that, I recommend you stick to your playstyle, kind of revolving around your main card. You're usually going to want to have a key card. Like, when I first started playing, my key card was Gargantua Punisher. I think this, this is probably one of my favorite cards in the deck. The fact that you have an absolute endgamer is just awesome, and I just like the art on it. <laughs> That's my two reasons for having that as my main card. And if you want to build your deck around Gargantua Punisher like I had done, you would make a more offensive deck. But the way I play, I just found that didn't work well, so I said, screw it, I'll drop Gargantua Punisher to three, and that's why it was not three in my updated deck, and I start adding different cards to make it a bit more offensive and defensive. So that's really key. Um, those are my reasons for that. Um, spells, you want to have a balance of your spells for whatever purpose. As I said, I'm playing a balanced version of Dragon World where it's not either defensive or offensive. So, kind of when you get, 
This, I wouldn't call this a defensive or offensive card. I'll just call it your typical spell card that has conditions. So we'll put those to the side. Um, I'll go over all the cards later. Uh, defensive cards, definitely these. The shields. I'm probably going to bump this up to two. It's not terrible. In between, defensive. Spells are usually very defensive if they're counter spells, but that's offensive. Actually, these are in between. These are in between. Put that over there right now. Okay, so I have a lot of cards I could use for in between, and I have a lot of defensive cards. If I said, screw it, I feel like really playing defensive, as I said with the creatures, I could throw everything in here. I have almost no offensive spells, but if that's how I don't want to play, I won't play but that way. I'll have 2, 6, 7, 11, 13 offensive spells. Or 13 defensive spells, one offensive spell, and you know, I'm going to actually put this in between, because if you're going for an aggro play, it's going to be an offensive use, and if you're going for, really, this is more of an offensive card, because you need to have low life, first of all, which is kind of dangerous, and usually, if you leave your center aisle open, you're going to end up having low life, plus there are certain ways you can actually get yourself to low life in this deck, using certain cards that I do not have. So, Dragon Energy is going to go in between. Dragon Breath, I would actually use on a more of an, a defensive scale. And Dragon Shoe, I would use on a, on a maybe offensive scale to get rid of those shield cards. So, I'll leave it like this. So, here, if this is the board of my defensive cards I can use for whatever purpose. And offensive cards, I'll have five offensive Four cards I could use either defensively or offensively, and seven cards I can use defensively in my idea on the basic blackboard. And that's more of the reason my decks bounce because I can adjust the way I play. Like, as I said before, I thought originally, as I was thinking off the go, I said, Oh, okay, this is a spell with conditions, so it's not really defensive or offensive. But if you think how you're going to play the card, you can play offensively try to end the game right there defensively try to get more cards to protect yourself so in all reality it's a card you can put in between but i would use this more as an offensive card which is the reason it's at two this card i'm trying to get like i'm taking these out i'm taking actually no i might keep those because these are good answer shields but i'm getting off topic so, you have cards you can use for whatever purpose, and you just gotta find out the way you're gonna play the cards. And that's all I really have to say about that. So, this is really going through my deck and how I built it, but it gives you a good idea of how you might want to build a deck, whether you want to build, build it balanced, offensively, defensively. And this is probably one of the more aggro parts of the deck. Which is why you can argue it's often it's balanced because more of my creatures are I can use offensively, but more of my spells are defensive, and I could use this offensively as well. So, but as I said, at one point I had a total of thirteen spells I could use defensively, and I only had a number of like twelve creatures I could use offensively, maybe a little more than that, fourteen maybe. Um, so more offensive cards. The item card is always offensive, and most decks play it. The only deck I don't know if it plays an item card or not would be Magic World, and I don't think it would, because the way it plays, but... For Dragon World and Danger World, you're going to have your one item, or maybe a, sec a couple copies of a second item, like three, and then maybe like... Two of these. So, yeah. Items are just flat out offensive and you use them to beat around. And that's my little sister passing by. But items are just flat out offensive card that most decks use. I don't know about Magic World. And I don't know about any future worlds because we don't have any really previews on them or anything. So, yeah. And then the last card, which is obviously offensive because this card's meant to end the game, would be your impact card, the sideways card. The impact card states you have a couple conditions met you can probably deal a lot of damage or end the game right there and then so impact card 
very aggressive no matter what and you're usually aiming to go for game or deal a lot of damage with this with danger world and magic world you're dealing three or four damage on average with this card or the chess impact card that almost no one's gonna play unless it's a fun deck you're gonna end the game right there if you get it off so yeah very 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 useful and Impact cards, just an aggro card that most decks should play at least three copies of, if not four, if you're going to base it around that. But, I believe, a, maybe, maybe, nah, definitely, I think three is the best number for impact cards. Three is probably the best number for impact cards, so, that's my recommendation. Um, a good number for your deck is 50, but you technically go above that to whatever number you want. And you usually want a theme, like my theme is Armor Dragons. Uh, for the other theme in Dragon World, you have uh, Dragon Knights. Danger World has Dual Dragons and Armor Knights. Magic World has Wizards and 72 Pillars. And other themes will pop up for other decks. So, that's really going over how my deck is built and kind of like a basis for deck building. If you would like more in-depth ideas and stuff, just PM or comment down below. And thank you for watching. This is Joy from Team Burning Vanity. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to be signing out. Peace.